is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And so we've seen this Balenciaga bag that looks very similar to the Ikea bags. You guys have noticed it, the internet has noticed it. And we thought if a designer handbag company can make Ikea bags cool, so can we. So can we. So today we're gonna take some Ikea bags and figure out what we can make with them. And hopefully we get some pretty cool stuff in the end. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. All right, let's see what we can make with some Ikea bags. Let's do it. <laughs> So our first IKEA bag project is going to be doing some super sweet track pants with the IKEA logo down the side. So we're gonna take one bag for this and cut off the straps. So we have our pair of track pants here and I'm just gonna kind of get the side part showing. Oh my God, that already looks so cool. Pro tip, if you don't want edges to fray and you have a nylon ribbon, you can just burn it lightly and then it won't fray. We are going to just glue it down the side here. So good. We're just gonna flip it over and repeat on the other side. Okay, they're all glued on and it looks so legit in the end. I mean, it looks like Ikea made this and that they're selling them. What would these be called if Ikea was selling them? Sweat panta. Some pa sweat with like a, like a. Some sort of accent. Yeah, yeah, sweat and then like panta. <laughs> Sweat Panta. Oh, hello. God Morgan. <laughs> good, <laughs> good morning. Okay, so what we're gonna do is turn your trusty IKEA bag into a duffel bag because, I don't know, the shape isn't working and duffel bags are very cute. So the first step we're going to do is take the IKEA bag and just chop the sides off to where it kind of goes into the point. So now it's open. This is the long piece that's gonna wrap around the side of the circular duffel bag, but this is way too big. Um, the sides would end up being huge. So I'm gonna chop it in half and cut off a little bit to make it smaller, and then I guess I'll sew it back together so it ends up being a shorter rectangle. So now I have the super long zipper that I'm going to sew to the top of the bag to close it. Cool, so zipper is on and it works, except for the fact that all your stuff will fall out the sides. So we're gonna fix that now. So what you can do is fold your bag in half, measure the side of your bag times by two, and then use this formula here to figure out the radius of the circle we need to draw. So on my extra IKEA bag here, I'm gonna draw out two circles, both that have a radius of about five inches is what my number was. So now we have two circles cut off, which will be the ends of our bag. So take the bag and flip it inside out for sewing. Make sure your zipper is open before you start sewing. And we're just going to pin our circle ends to the sides of each bag and sew them in place. Dude, so cute, yeah? Yeah. This is now the um, Duffin bag, spelled with two Gs. Next up, we're gonna try making a fanny pack, and TBH never made a fanny pack before. And my first step is gonna be cutting out the pieces that you need as like the fabric for your fanny pack. The front of the fanny pack is literally the same shape as the back of the fanny pack, but without the tabs. And our next step is to sew a zipper into the front piece here. So I'm just gonna cut a small slit in the front of this. So we have the zipper in and it looks and works great. So now our next step is to take the good sides of our front piece and our back piece, put them together and sew all the way around the edges. Before you do that, make sure that you open up your pocket because we're gonna need to flip it inside out afterwards. You're also gonna wanna make sure that you tuck in your little tabbies here so that they end up on the outside when you're done. So now that it's all sewn, we're gonna flip it right side in, right side out. So now our last step is to add on our IKEA straps. I think I'm just gonna sew them. Looking good. I'm just gonna give it a snip. I'm gonna have it shorter on one side and then the Velcro will come around and attach here. Okay, cool guys, we made a fanny pocket. Now, on sale now, the pocket. <laughs> All right, it's bucket hat time. Trend from my childhood that is apparently cool again. So let's see if we can make it out of an IKEA bag. So step one is cutting out all of the parts to make a bucket hat. So I actually looked up the template online and I will link below the one that we use. So using the template, I have cut out a top piece, two side pieces, and two brim pieces. So the first step is gonna be sewing these two pieces together to make a long version of each piece. 
So now that they're attached, the first thing we're going to do is take the side piece and pin it to the top round part that's going to be the top of the hat. And now I'm just going to sew up this remaining side. Now we've made the bucket part of the hat. I'm sure this looks amazing on me. We need to add the brim as the last step and then we're good to go. Alright, so um, the brim is on and I flipped it inside out and it kind of actually looks pretty good. What do we think? Just looking at my, it's, it's tall. It's like a top hat meets bucket hat. Um, this is the IKEA top bucket. Okay, bye. <laughs> guys, hopefully you do enjoy that. And you could make literally any of these things out of not IKEA bags and it'd be awesome too. Exactly. I mean, this could be like a serious hat if it wasn't IKEA blue. Or you could be into IKEA blue. Or I'm also into IKEA blue. I love this duffel bag. This is like probably my favorite. Also, the um the pocket. <laughs> the pocket. Or the the striped pen. Oh, this is actually my fave though. <laughs> so cool. All right, if you guys like this video, make sure you give us a like and if you want to see more stuff like this or any comments let us know. Yeah, we'll check them out. Enjoy the silly stuff. Let us know. Um, or if you want more serious DIYs, let us know too. We can do that too. We do a little bit of everything over here. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, like it. And if you love it, please sub it. We're so close to Millie. Millie, Millie, Millie. All right. See you okay. later. Bye. Bye.